Hi everyone, welcome back to our next class. I hope you all are doing well. And now I'm here with you with a new topic in the paper Phonetics and Applied Phonetics. And we have already finished two units, uh, Phonetics and Phonology and the second unit, Speech Sounds. And we learned in detail uh, con about consonant sounds, all sounds and uh, about its pronunciation. We learned everything in detail with examples. And now we are moving on to the third unit in this paper. And the unit title, Syllable Stress Intonation in Spoken English. Syllable Stress Intonation in Spoken English. And in the first two unit, we learned the theory of speech sounds, how it is pronounced and from where it is pronounced and the way it is pronounced, everything we learned in the first and second units. And now in this units, we are making the, what we learn into practical. We are applying what we learned in the first two chapters, okay, in spoken English. So, in this unit, we are going to discuss on the syllable, word stress, sentence stress, then weak forms, rhythm in connected speech, then intonation. Okay, these are the topics and these, all these things are needed uh, in spoken English. And I think uh, in the last units, we have learned syllables. Okay, well, mono of syllables, uh, dash syllable. Uh, LM syllable and the number of syllables is equal to number of vowel sound in a word. All these things we learned in, the, in that um, unit. And let's see. E unit linear the lang quiring learn a code And uh, in unit two, you learned about the sounds of English, vowels. Monophthongs and diphthongs. I hope you remember what is monophthong and what is diphthongs. Okay, monophthong means uh, there is only one vowel sound, monophthong, pure vowels. And diphthong means combination of two pure vowels, that is diphthong. Okay, so we have in English 12 monophthongs and 8 diphthongs. And consonant, 24 consonants are there. In this unit, we shall take up very important aspect of spoken English called word stress. Okay, word stress. We shall discuss with the help of examples, the syllable and the various patterns of word stress and sentence stress that we come across in English. We shall also study the patterns and rhythm in connected speech. But then introduction I took the Rikanadana, Namalini Padikam Bona Kairingal, where it's stress in a, uh, from the title itself, we can uh, we can understand what is word stress. We can uh, give a definition for word stress. Okay. And the main objectives of this lesson. Um, after completing this unit, we would be able to divide the word into syllables, then perceive which part of an English word of more than one syllable has um, the stress when it is pronounced. When we pronounce a word, which part of that word has to, uh, has to be given the stress? When we pronounce then find out from a dictionary which syllable of a word is to be stressed. Say English words with the stress on the right syllable of the word. Then after that we will be able to um, read or say sentences with the stress on the right words. Then we can understand the role of weak forms in contributing to the rhythm of English. Understand some of the basic intonation patterns of in English. So these are the main things we are going to learn in this, this particular unit. Okay, I have already given a clear-cut information, clear-cut uh, details about the syllable, how we uh, identify the syllables, how we split the syllables in a word. I have uh, given you detailed information in the last unit. Even though the unit will be syllable, let's see what is a syllable. 
as syllable is defined by the oxford advanced learners dictionary of current english as any of the units into which a word is divided okay any of the unit a word in which a word is divided containing a vowel sound and usually one or more vowel sounds okay that is what a syllable uh, according to this dictionary of uh, what current english dictionary a syllable means unit into which a word is divided or a word engine simple unit take it divide edittundo how the unit is how the word is divided into simple units which contains a vowel sound okay appo oru vowel sound ne adisthanamaakittana nammal endu eeyunnathu etra syllable undu ennalladhu nammal kandu pidikkunnathathile from this axis we can progress to say that a syllable essentially is a division of word that contains at least a vowel sound adu oru nammal ee word ne divide cheyumbo nammal split cheyumbo adil at least endu adangi irikkanam oru vowel sound engilum adil undayirikkanam okay then Let's see um therefore is that this division is often marked by the sign of a full stop or period and mediated by phonetic consideration one thing you must first of learn uh, first of all learn of a syllable therefore is that must contain a vowel sound appo itre main aayittu nammal manasilakkanda oru kaaryam ennu parayana nammal oru vowel sound means oru syllable decide cheynathu adil etra syllable undu ennu decide cheynathu depends on the number of vowels used in a word adanusarichittana adana athreem kaaryam athreem sentence il mention cheyidittulla kaaryam then phonetically this unit of a word division is usually marked by higher amplitude or intensity long duration and a change in fundamental frequency this is why the term peak has been used to name this unit of the syllable okay appo ivada paranjittulla karyam phonetically this unit of a division a unit of a word division is usually marked by a higher amplitude or intensity adhaithu nammal split cheyna word idippo oru word nammal thannu oru word thannu adil onno allengil adil adhigamo vowel sound not vowel letters keep in mind that only vowel sound adanu consider cheyanda the letters nokkittalla consider cheyanda a unit of word division is usually marked by higher amplitude or intensity adha chella nammal parayna oru word il chella pa rendu o moonu syllable undengil adil chella pa oru syllable matte syllable nekkalum korchude higher voice il allengil loud aayittu irikkum chella pa parayandi varunathu long duration undavum and change in fundamental frequency adinde pitch il endu undavum difference varum this is why the term peak has been used to name this unit of the syllable pad represent edon nammal peak ennalla word adine ubhayogikkarund appo peak ennu parayunnathu nammal ed word inaana avade importance kodukkunnathu nammal when we pronounce that word which word is uttered uh, more louder than the others which word in the sense which syllable is uttered more louder than the other syllable in a word adiniyana nammal avada peak ennu uddeshathu this is the most important part of a syllable and we can use this we can call this word as nucleus also also because in identifying number of syllables of a word is often possible to tap the number of beats one can count of the word the term rhythm is used to name this part of the unit of the syllable <coughs> some examples of such one vowel <coughs> a 
must be written. Some examples of such one vowel syllable in English are there is a chela vowel sound. There is a vowel, one vowel syllable syllable. That is the example. Which one? Or, or and R. This sound is the same. This letters for or. O R two letters are there and O R again two letters are there and A R E two letters are there. But when we pronounce this word, there is simply vowel sound only. O again O R. Itre matre namal endi nolla pronounce ino R is silent. In this three words, R is silent. The moon and adithno kyalum R in daanam. Silent anivida. We are not pronouncing R. Yeah. O. R is silent. Then again O. O. This is the phonetic transcription of these two words. And R. Just R is there. R. Letter R is there and E is there. But R is silent here. So R sound. Itre namla parainalo. Respectively, because this type of syllable does not have any other sound at its beginning nor end. E sound in the beginning and end there is no sound because it is preceded and succeeded by silence. Okay, before the sound O oh, there is no sound. And after O oh, there is a letter, but that letter is silent, it's not pronounced. Okay, so only that vowel sound can be heard. Oh, ah, uh, that sound can be heard. Silence. It's also referred to as free, open, free, open or simple syllable. Free, open or simple syllable. Okay, Karanam, there is no uh, syllable before or after this word. It's a single syllabic word. Only vowel sound is there. No other sounds are heard. Please note that the word division into units we refer to here is phonetically mediated and not morphologically such as suffix, infix and prefix. Suffix, infix and prefix grammar suffix. Suffix word in the end suppose um, happy. It's a word. We use it as adjective item. use use word happy. Then <coughs> happy day mun bill un if I add this two letters un if I add this word un now we got the opposite of the word unhappy and we added this two letters before the root word before this adjective I placed these two letters so as these two letters are uh, placed before the sound it is prefix 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 as the name mentioned prefix fix then unhappily for ly okay ly so that is called a suffix this is prefix and suffix then infix in between a sentence a daily use infix okay However, if a syllable is started or preceded by a consonant, that is, a consonant comes before the mandatory vowel, the consonant at the initial position is named the onset. And in the last unit, we learned consonant clusters. Okay, you have to just uh, uh, turn uh, the pages in your paper and you just watch the video lesson too. Then just try to memorize what is uh, consonant cluster. Or your sentence in the C, V, and the Kaparani, and the Kodathit and Diron, Thanit and Diron, other on the Goda and the Edithunoka. Then here, if a syllable is started or preceded by a consonant, that means if a syllable which begins with or which is followed by a consonant 
that is consonant comes before the mandatory vowel the consonant is at the initial position is named the onset onset keep in mind the word onset onset mean the consonant sound or the initial sound before the vowel a vowel sound in munpilulla initial position il varuna consonant sound is called onset okay onset is a consonant sound which comes at the initial position of a word or which comes before a vowel sound adu todakkathil varanam end il varunadalla todakkathil varuna consonant sound vowel inde thottu munnil varuna consonant sound is called onset sometimes the onset may be made up of consonant clusters palapolum e onset consonant clusters consonant clusters we learned that is a group of cluster means group group of consonant sound that is called consonant clusters as many as three consonant for instance in english nammle nerathe paranju last unit il paranju the maximum number of consonant initial consonant cluster is three and the maximum of final consonant cluster is four that we already learned as many as three consonant in such instances the first of such is called the pre initial consonant pre initial consonant that is three consonant clusters and we are saying 1 2 3 then a vowel okay a vowel sound adinte munbile varuna consonant sound maximum three aan and the first consonant is called pre initial consonant pre means munb pre initial consonant and the second one is initial consonant and the third one is final consonant okay three consonant clusters onset onset has the maximum number of onset in parayunna the three aan the first cluster is called pre initial second initial then final okay then this can be this can be illustrated with the word stray this can be illustrated with the word stray namukku engane illustrate cheyan pattum in this example is stray stray ennu parayna word let's see stray s t r a y okay five letter letters are there and then its phonetic transcription ennu parayna s s first stray s sound s then stray t t sound then its stray r r r sound then its stray a a e a stray well, this is a sound and this is e sound e sound okay stray and this is a diphthong right diphthong and no? diphthong is also one vowel vowel ne thaneya na nammal diphthong nu varu which is a combination of two vowel sound okay and this is a vowel here and before this vowel sound two consonant letters are the two consonant uh, sorry three consonant sounds are here and this one c c c and this first one is pre initial pre initial and the second one is initial and the third one is final pre initial initial final pre initial consonant and then initial consonant and final consonant okay i hope it is clear then where the peak 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 node udeshada edu word ne aanu vowel ne aanu ivada udeshada peak a a peak vowel sound ne nammal peak ennu parayunu peak a is preceded by an onset of three consonant made of s s t r nammal sound vaaikumba eppozhum don't read it as a letter not s t r no you have to pronounced uh, in the way of how how the sound represent 
uh, S stands for S sound, T stands for T sound and R stands for R sound. Thus, S is pre-initial, T is the initial sound and uh, R is the final onset. Okay, onset clear on a low. Uh, vowel sound in a mumbili you say in the consonant mumbili were in the consonant clusters. Three maximum three pre initial, initial, final consonant. So this is called a onset. Then, however, just as the peak of a syllable can be free or preceded by an onset, it can equally uh, be succeeded by as many as a cluster of four consonants. It can be succeeded. It can be preceded before or in front of preceded. Then succeed means after, after the vowel sound, maximum of four. The consonants that appear at the final position of the peak is called the coda. So, at the beginning position is called onset. Three, maximum of three. And the final consonant clusters at the end of, uh, uh, end of a word. That means uh, after the vowel sound. Final position of the peak. Peak means uh, vowel. Is called the Chorda. The first of them is pre-final. Nerite paranya valtane pre-final, second final, the third final, then post-final, third post-final, and the last post-final too. But not that. If the syllable has just one chorda, the consonant is the final consonant. Aedo orat. A syllable in the or a consonant or lingual, that is the final consonant. Okay, let me illustrate this prompts. Prompt P R O M P T S. Prompts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 letters are there. Then let's translate it, transcribe it. First, P sound. Okay, then Pro, Ro. R sound, then O sound, M sound, P sound, it's from Z. Z. Uh, it's here it is letter S. She, number pronounce in the end in the Z sound and proms, not S. Proms, proms, Z sound. So, in this sentence, in this word, there is only one vowel. Okay, there is only one vowel that is O sound O only one vowel and these two are onset P sound R sound onset okay and here it is M sound P sound T sound Z sound so all these are chord okay the final consonant clusters are called chord the word has a chord of four consonant name P M P, T, Z. Where is M in the bar? Pre-final. M. Pre-final. M sound pre-final. Then P final. Then T post-final one. That is final initiation. Post-final one. Then window final initiation. Post-final two. This is how we classify classify Okay. Note that when a syllable has a coda, it is called a closed syllable. Okay. If there is a coda in a uh, syllable, it is called a closed syllable. But there is no A. There is no coda, just A. Trevolo. Avade, vowel initiation, or consonant sound. That is why we a closed syllable. We have a stray. Stray in the lower word. S T R. Stray. There is no consonant cluster after this vowel. So there is no coda. Okay. Oh, if there is a one chord, at least one syllable has a coda, it is called a close syllable. For example, kin, kin, k, e, n, kin, kin sound. After this, e sound is the vowel and 
this one is onset and ne is coda. There is only one. So this is called close syllable. Then a close syllable nano parinal. However, however, syllable does not have an onset. It is said to be an open syllable. If there is no onset, suppose stray. I'm sorry. Okay. If syllable does not have an onset, onset lingle. Onset under the initial consonant clusters illa angle, it is called open syllable. For example, in in uh, e sound n sound. There is no consonant clusters in front of the sound. So it is called open syllable. Okay. If there is a coda at the end, that means if there is a, a consonant uh, sound uh, after the vowel, then it is called a closed syllable. If there is no onset, that means if there is no consonant cluster at the beginning of a word, it is called a open syllable. For example, in which has a zero onset. Which has zero onset. Okay. Then, when a syllable does not have a coda, or a syllable in a coda, it's a syllable with zero coda. Okay, syllable with zero uh, onset, zero onset. If a syllable does not have a coda, it is a syllable with a zero coda. For example, pay, pay, like end with a vowel sound, not a consonant sound. Then, if it has neither an onset nor a coda, so onset to la initial consonant cluster la uh, final consonant cluster lingle it is called a zero onset and zero coda it is therefore we can call a free or simple syllable now there is woo woo sound woo woo but when a syllable has both an onset and a coda of any number is said to be a complex syllable okay then next one syllable structure a syllable can be analyzed in terms of its segments and then the segment in the distance of the syllable analyze here and in terms of its segment segments means its part which are called also called a speed sound terms of segments are also called a speed sound the segment fall into two categories that is consonant and vowel speech sounds are of two types one is consonant and one is vowel as you already know a consonant function as a marginal element that is marginal element i turn a consonant function that is at the beginning or at the end of a syllable when it is termed a releasing or an arresting Consonant, a consonant sound in a releasing consonant sound in them, arresting consonant sound in the Vilikar and within a marginal element in the Vilikan Karanam, consonant at the beginning or at the end which, which comes. That's why it is called a consonant as marginal element. Okay. The vowel is the nucleus or central part of the syllable. But syllable is the most important part. The nucleus of a syllable is what vowel. If there is no vowel sound, there is no syllable. Okay, we cannot split a, a word into syllables without vowel sound. Then, when we describe the structure of a syllable we use the simple c to represent a consonant and v to represent a vowel so i have already uh, given class on this to c for consonant and v for vowel for example the word book 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 b is consonant then u sound it's vowel then again sound it's consonant c v c as the stretcher so it is made up of one consonant one vowel and again one consonant 
structure of the syllable can be shown thus. So, now come. Book. C. Beginning. Means consonant, vowel, consonant. B sound, beginning. O, the nucleus. That means the vowel. Then, K. O, beginning le varunna, uh, vowel sound in the initial le varunna consonant in a, we call releasing consonant. Okay, and after the vowel, the consonant, arresting consonant. Releasing consonant and arresting consonant. Then, let's see. Some examples are given here. Monosyllabic word means monosyllabic means only one syllable. One syllable that means one syllable means one vowel. One vowel. One syllable is equal to one vowel. So, hat. Uh, sound, uh, sound to sound. Hat. The, this is uh, the nucleus V and H sound. No, are in a consonant. Are a T consonant. Then phone, phone, F sound, F O. Phone. Okay, this is only one. Again, C V C. Then ring. Ring, ng, ng, this one. So only one uh, vowel and r consonant, ng consonant. Again, c, v, c. Then comes gas, g sound, g, a, s, s sound. Then vowel g sound consonant s sound consonant. Then comes cut 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 k k this one cut vowel consonant consonant again c v c. Then voice b sound o i voice. Okay, boys, z sound and again c v c. Then heat, heat, h sound, t sound. Then e sound, heat. Okay, again c v c. Clear. C stands for consonant, v for vowel, and c for uh, again consonant. Then the next one. Just only vowel sound. Okay. I. I. This is I. Okay. Only vowel sound. Then air. A. Air. Just one vowel sound. Then ear. Ear. Another one. Then R. R sound. Then a, a sound. Then o, then o, o sound. To see, only all sound are there. But when we read this one or when we write, we use consonant letters. But the consonant sounds are not pronounced. It's kept silent. That is why it's not written. It is not there in the transcription form. Okay, so these are monosyllabic word means there is only one all sound, one syllable. Then, next, let's move on to disyllabic. Disyllabic means two syllable, two syllables. See, about, it's a, that means vowel sound. Then bout, bout. Again, consonant, all consonant. That means V, C, V, C. Okay. Then, 
steady s sound t sound then a steady a sound so that is one vowel then again d d nu varumbo d d consonant then again e vowel then letter l letter e vowel sound c v then letter t uh, that's so letter letter r is silent again t what consonant v so c v c v c v then next word is sorry so so re so re so this one s sound consonant then is o sound vowel then again r sound nu varunathu consonant then e sound vowel c v c v then next one effect a effect effect e a ano a ano nu doubt undu anyway ഈ ഇതിൽ നമ്മൾ ശരിക്കും ട്രാൻസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് വരുന്നില്ല ഇതിൻ്റെ ഒരു ഡിവിഷൻ സിലബൽ ഡിവിഷൻ മാത്രം വരുന്നുള്ളൂ സോ എഫക്റ്റ് ദിസ് എ വവൽ ഫ് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് എ വവൽ ക് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ദൻ ടു കോൺസനൻറ്റ് സോ വി സി വി സി സി ദൻ എല്ലോ വട്ട് എല്ലോ വട്ട് എല്ലോ vowel then low okay low consonant then again vowel then expert 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 nammal ezhudumbo e k s oru vowel vannu then iniyana pert varunathu അപ്പോൾ വൺ വവൽ നാദർ വൺ സോ വവൽ എക്സ് കോൺസനൻ്റ് സ് കോൺസനൻ്റ് പ് കോൺസനൻ്റ് വവൽ കോൺസനൻ്റ് കോൺസനൻ്റ് വി സി 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 വി സി ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ ക്ലിയർ ആണല്ലോ എങ്ങനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ വവൽ ആണോ കോൺസനൻ്റ് ആണോ എന്ന് എഴുതുന്നത് ദൻ കംസ് ട്രൈ സിലബിക് വേർഡ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വേർഡ്സ് ഓഫ് ത്രീ സിലബിൾ ഈച്ച് C V lies. C on consonant, then E sound. C sound, E sound, vowel. Then again V, V sound, consonant, E sound, vowel. Lies, L sound, consonant, I, I, lies, or I, virinand, the vowel. Then again S consonant. Then episode, this A sound, vowel. p sound consonant e sound vowel then sword s sound consonant o sound vowel d sound consonant then develop develop first sound is d d develop nu varu d d d d one is d consonant then e vowel then d then ve ve nu varumbol v consonant sound a uh, sound le le consonant sound la a a a varunnund adu vowel then p again p sound consonant sound vindu vindu repeat cheyunu ningal ee consonant ee vowel okke eduthuna samayathu orikkalum letter count cheythu eduthirathu keep in mind use only the consonant sound not letter then refreshment refreshment r r fresh ment one vowel c r consonant vowel then f consonant 
ര കോൺസനൻറ്റ് എ വവൽ ഷ് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് മ സൗണ്ട് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് എ സൗണ്ട് വവൽ ന് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ടു അഗെയിൻ കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ഓക്കെ സി വി സി സി വി സി അതിൻ്റെ ഇടയിൽ ഹൈഫൺ ഇടുന്നത് ഇതാണോ നമ്മൾ സിലബിളായിട്ട് സ്പ്ലിറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളതാണ് അപ്പോൾ ഓരോ സിലബിളും ഓരോ വവൽ വരുന്നുണ്ട് ദെൻ യൂഷ്വലി യൂഷ്വലി ലെറ്റർ ഉ യു ആണ് പക്ഷേ യാ സൗണ്ടാണ് വരുന്നത് ഉ അല്ല ഉ സൗണ്ടാണെങ്കിൽ മാത്രമേ നമുക്കത് വവലായിട്ട് എടുക്കാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ ഇറ്റ്സ് യു സൗണ്ട് യൂഷ്വലി യൂഷ്വലി ഇറ്റ്സ് യു യു കോൺസനൻ്റ് ആണ് പക്ഷെ യു എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ യു ഇങ്ങനെയാണ് യു വരുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ യ എന്നുള്ളത് കോൺസനൻ്റ് ആണ് ഉ എന്നുള്ളത് വവലാണ് ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ സി വി ദൻ ഷുവലി ഷു ഷുവ ഷു വരും ഉ ഒക്കെ വരുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ ഷ് കോൺസനൻ്റ് ആണ് അതിനുശേഷം വരുന്ന ഉ എന്നുള്ളത് വവലാണ്ട് പിന്നെ ലി യുഷ്വലി ല് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ഇ വവൽ ഓക്കെ ദൻ ലിങ്ക്യൂസ്റ്റിക് ലിങ്ക്യൂസ്റ്റിക് അപ്പോൾ ല് സൗണ്ട് ല് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ഇ വവൽ ന് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ദൻ ഗ് ഗ് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ലിങ്ക്യു യു യു വരുന്നുണ്ട് ഇപ്പോൾ യു സൗണ്ട് ഇ കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ലിങ്ക്വി ഇ ഇ വരുമ്പോൾ വവൽ ദൻ സ് എഗെയിൻ കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ദൻ ടിക് ടി കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ഇ വവൽ ക് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് സ് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് മജിസ്ട്രേറ്റ് മ മ മ സൗണ്ട് മജിസ്ട്രേറ്റ് മ സൗണ്ട് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ദൻ എ സൗണ്ട് വരുന്നുണ്ട് അത് വവൽ ജി ജിസ്ട്രേറ്റ് ജ് സൗണ്ട് ദിസ് ഇസ് ജി ജിസ് മജിസ് അപ്പോൾ ജ് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് എ വവൽ സ് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് സി വി സി ദൻ ട്രേറ്റ് മജിസ്ട്രേറ്റ് ട്ര് ട് സൗണ്ട് അത് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ദൻ റ് സൗണ്ട് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ട്രേ എ വവൽ ട് ദൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ടൈപ്പ് വേർഡ്സ് ഓഫ് മോർ ദാൻ ത്രീ സിലബൾ So, words of more than three syllables are called polysyllabic. One syllabic mono, three syllabic dia and words with more than two or uh, more, than, uh, more than three are called polysyllabic. Okay. Polysyllabic. Trisyllabic three. Uh, one syllable mono, two dia. Three try and more than three is called what? Polysyllabic. Okay. Then examples are given. Photographic. Four. So it's four. Another F sound. Consonant. Then O. V sound. Okay. Then TA. T sound. Consonant. then o again uh, what vowel sound then again gra gra g sound is there then r sound is there then a uh, a sound gra a o or vowel one vowel one consonant one consonant then fik fik f sound e sound k sound k then f consonant e vowel k what consonant c v c okay then electricity so uh, first a sound ennu parayunnathu vowel aanu then lek lek ennu parayumbal l e k k s ennu parayna k sound aanallo again l consonant then one vowel so v sound then again consonant lek then tree t r tree consonant t r e e sound vowel then next one c c i ah uh, electricity c sound consonant then e sound vowel 
then t j t t sound electricity consonant vowel okay then next one neurology neurology new new u nu parayumba namukku e sound avadu varunnundi new ra la g n sound consonant aayittu vannu then u u u u varunnundi e varunnundu u ennalladum varunnundi appo e sound is there then u sound is there appo one consonant one one uh, vowel and again consonant then what is ccv then ra ra nu parayumbo o or consonant or vowel then lo one consonant one vowel o sound aanu g g nu parayumbo j sound is sound one consonant one vowel okay adana ivide c c v consonant 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 vowel consonant vowel consonant vowel consonant vowel okay then next one is lexicograph lexicograph consonant vowel le le nu parayumbo consonant vowel avade or extra idu koduthittunde adu verunnilla ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇതിൽ വരുന്നത് ലേ സൗണ്ട് അത് മാത്രം ഏ അപ്പോൾ കോൺസനൻറ്റും ഒരു വവൽ മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ അവിടെ ഒരു അഡീഷണലി കോൺസനൻറ്റ് കൊടുത്തു ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് റോങ് ദെൻ സി ലെക് സി ക് സെക്കൻഡിലാണ് വരുന്നത് ക് ലെക് സി എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ ക് സ് ഇ അപ്പോൾ ക് കോൺസനൻ്റ് ആണ് സും കോൺസനൻ്റ് ആണ് ഇ സൗണ്ട് വവൽ അവിടെയാണ് സി സി വി വരുന്നത് സെക്കൻഡിലാണ് വരുന്നത് ദൻ ലെക്സിക്കോ ക് ഓ കോ അപ്പോൾ ക് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ദെൻ ഓ ഓവൽ ലെക്സിക്കോ ഗ്രാ ഗ് ആർ എ ഗ്രാ ഗ് സൗണ്ട് റ് സൗണ്ട് ആ സൗണ്ട് ദൻ ഫ് ലെക്സിക്കോ ഗ്രാ ഫ് ആർ സൈലൻറ്റ് ജസ്റ്റ് ഫ് സൗണ്ട് ഫ് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ദെൻ what all sound lexico graph okay then next one is longitudinal longitudinal lo consonant then o sound vowel then long ng ng avada long and a longitudinal nalla nammal parayna longitudinal pa ng sound varunnunde ng vannalum consonant sound aanu then again j j i uh, again one consonant and one vowel then t u t u uh, u nu rainbow t consonant then u vowel uh, u sound vowel ദൻ ട്യൂ എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ എങ്ങനെയാണ് വരുന്നത് കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ ആവരുത് ട്യൂ ഉണ്ട് ഇ ഉണ്ട് ഊ ഉണ്ട് ആണ് ട്യൂ അതുകൊണ്ട് ഇത് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ഇതും കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ഊ സൗണ്ട് ഓവൽ അതാണ് ഇവിടെ സി സി വി വന്നത് ദെൻ ഡി ഐ ഡ് സൗണ്ട് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ഇ സൗണ്ട് ഓവൽ നൽ നെ സൗണ്ട് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് ആ ഓവൽ ല് കോൺസനൻറ്റ് so consonant vowel consonant consonant vowel then consonant consonant vowel consonant vowel okay then next one is luxuriously luxuriously consonant vowel consonant uh, then consonant vowel again consonant vowel consonant sound tantalizing tantalizing tan t sound consonant then a vowel again n consonant then again t t consonant a vowel then liz liz l consonant e vowel s consonant then ing e e ing e 
എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ വവൽ ങ് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ കോൺസനൻറ്റ് അപ്പോൾ അഗെയിൻ റിപ്പീറ്റ് വേർഡ്സ് വിത്ത് വൺ സിലബിക് കോൾഡ് മോണോ സിലബിക് വേർഡ്സ് വിത്ത് ടു സിലബിക് ആൾ കോൾഡ് ഡയ സിലബിക് വിത്ത് ത്രീ ആർ കോൾഡ് ട്രൈ സിലബിക് വിത്ത് മോർ ദാൻ ത്രീ ആർ കോൾഡ് ഹോളി സിലബിക് ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ ഇതെല്ലാം പറഞ്ഞു മോണോ സിലബിക്കും ഡയ സിലബിക്കും പീക്കും എല്ലാ കാര്യങ്ങളും ഇവിടെ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തു ഇനി നമുക്ക് പോകേണ്ടതൊരു ചെക്ക് യുവർ പ്രോഗ്രസ് വൺ ടാസ്ക് ഇസ് ഗിവൺ ഹിയർ indicate the number of syllables in each of the following words and show how divide how you will divide each word into syllable so idu or class konde namak adu complete cheyyan okay let's see we can finish it can we finish it? first one yana rendu moonana ningalku cheyidaram baaki ningal swayam ചെയ്യാം ഗൾ ഗൾ എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ അതിൽ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് സിലബിൾ ഗ ഗൾ ഗ് സൗണ്ട് ഗ് സൗണ്ട് ദൻ സൗണ്ട് ല് സൗണ്ട് സോ വൺ ഒറ്റ വൺ സിലബ് സോ വൺ കോൺസന ദൻ സൗണ്ട് വൺ വൗവൽ ദൻ ല് കോൺസന so how many vowel syllables are there there is only one vowel sound so there is only one syllable or ette vowel ullu appo adondu oru syllable ullu ini this syllable division nammal engane cheyunu g sound then g l sound g ana g or girl അത് നമുക്ക് സിലബിൾ ഡിവിഷൻ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റില്ല കാരണം ഒരൊറ്റ വവലുള്ളത് കൊണ്ട് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യാനില്ല ഗൾ എന്ന് തന്നെ വരും നമ്പർ ഓഫ് സിലബിൾ വൺ ദെൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ സ്ട്രക്ചർ 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 എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ സ് ഓക്കെ സ്ട്രക്ക് ദെൻ ഫണറ്റിക് ട്രാൻസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ അല്ല ലെറ്റർ വെച്ചിട്ട് മാത്രമാണ് അത് എഴുതി പോകുന്നത് സ്ട്രക്ക് ക് ക് സീക്ക് അവിടെ ക് സൗണ്ട് ആണ് അപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ ദർ ഇസ് വൺ വവൽ സൗണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ഷെർ എ സൗണ്ട് ദർ ഇസ് എൻ ദ വവൽ സോ ഇൻ ദിസ് വൺ ടു വവൽ സൗണ്ട്സ് ആർ ദർ അപ്പം നമ്പർ ഓഫ് സിലബിൾ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ടു ആണ് ദിസ് ഈസ് ദി സിലബിക് ഡിവിഷൻ സ്ട്രക്ക് ഷർ സ്ട്രക്ക് ഷർ ഫസ്റ്റ് സ്ട്രക്ക് അതിൽ ഒരു സിലബിൾ ഒരു വവൽ സൗണ്ട് സോ വൺ സിലബിൾ ദൻ ഷർ വൺ വവൽ സൗണ്ട് ദൻ വൺ സിലബിൾ ദൻ ദറ്റ് ഇസ് സ്ട്രക്ക് ഷർ ദൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഒബ്ജെക്റ്റീവ് ഒബ്ജെക്റ്റീവ് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് സിലബിൾ നോക്കാം ഒബ് ഓബ് വൺ സിലബിൾ സോ ഇതൊരു ഒരു വവലും ഒരു കോൺസനൻ്റ് വേ ഓബ് ജെക്ക് ജെക്ക് ഓക്കെ അനാദർ വവൽ കോൺസനൻ്റ് വവൽ കോൺസനൻ്റ് കോൺസനൻ്റ് ഒബ്ജെക്ക് ടിവ് ഒബ്ജെക്റ്റീവ് അഗെയിൻ അനാദർ വവൽ ഓ ത്രീ വവൽ സൗണ്ട്സ് ആർ ഹിയർ that means the number of syllable in the word objective is 3 objective ennalladile 3 syllables aanallathu idinde syllable division aanu idu objective ob jack tv moonu annathilum ore ore vowels varunnundu so it has got 3 syllables objective then another one ാണ് നമ്മൾ എഴുതുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ വൺ വവൽ അഗെയിൻ അനാദർ വവൽ സോ ടു വവൽ സൗണ്ട് ദറ്റ് മീൻസ് ടു സിലബിൾ ഇത് ഡിവിഷൻ ക സെറ്റ് സിലബിക് ഡിവിഷൻ ആണ് എഴുതിയിരിക്കുന്നത് ക സെറ്റ് ക ദൻ സെറ്റ് ഇങ്ങനെ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ 
recording re ko ding recording uh, so re e e one vowel ko o another vowel it is consonant and i don't repeat it in the lab another vowel then again consonant d consonant e uh, ding e vowel again consonant so how many syllables are there recording recording syllabic division on the moon vowel sounds are three vowel sounds are here two two three recording three then next one is introduction introduction it's e ne tro intro in first ne oru sorry in tro then Introduction. 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 Letter all sound we are under first E. Then O. A. A. Introduction. It is in the vowel sound we are in the syllabic division. We are in the in on the draw on the deck on the then shen. So total four syllables. Okay. Then next one primary pri one ma re pri one vowel ma second vowel e third vowel so three vowel sound three vowel sounds means three syllables three syllable and this is uh, syllabic division three syllables and the way another three syllabic division go to the tender then next one you or you know you are in both in other the shirky the other kind of mountain or to correct it out of the other and load a space a lot of one done or you know parany is another papa parany is in the summit of the name how many number of syllables are there how it is dividing the syllabic division other or on the day otherwise there is there will be chance for mistake then next one secondary primary finished sec then secondary secondary in the remember c and da re okay da e why no one will look here on a low sound except can rip of all syllables in the syllabic division of secondary then yeah the Tear. Re. Stick. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. The five all sounds and up a five syllable. Five syllable. Five syllable, five syllable characteristic. Five syllable. Then next is the last one. English in English English three and low but a vowel sound but a vowel sound so two vowel sound another the in sorry in In 
English to to also vowel e vowel so two syllabic syllables and this is the syllabic division okay so in the class we will discuss the syllables and the consonant vowel and the consonant vowel and the syllable एंगने डिवाइड आई हूँ सिलेबल्स एंगने आईडेंटिफाई चाहिए हूँ अत एंगने कंसनेंट वावल इन द सीसी एलिंग वीवी इन द मार्क के हूँ इन द लल्ला दल्ला हम नमले डिटेल आईट पढ़ी चुव अत इंडे एक्टिविटीज़ चाहिए तो सो नमले फर्स्ट इत्ते टॉपिक ये दिले फर्स्ट चैप्टर ला फर्स्ट टॉपिक आईट sentence stress okay so i hope it is clear how to identify a syllables and how to uh, split each word into different syllables then uh, a number of syllables i hope it is clear to you and i believe uh, you learn uh, you learned it very well topic on that i have to learn it well then Next topic will word stress and sentence stress and we will discuss you. So we will meet in the next class. Thank you. Thank you dear.